A UNLV professor just found out that she will be part of a groundbreaking mission to Mars. Fox 5's Cassie Moderic is live at UNLV with a story you will only see on Fox 5. If you'd told me 10 years ago that I was, I was going to get it, I wouldn't have believed you. Dr. Libby Hausrath is an associate professor of geoscience at UNLV. As of two weeks ago, she's also a NASA scientist. Her mission? To find out if there was ever life on Mars. Rocks on the red planet may have the answer. Good thing Dr. Hausrath is an expert on rocks. They'll be able to be analyzed with cutting edge techniques here on Earth, looking for the kinds of rocks, the kinds of past environments that might have been present. Um, any, you know, signatures of potential past life um, would be, you know, a very big deal. So what makes this mission to Mars different? It's the first time a rocket will launch from Mars and bring back samples from its surface. Dr. Hausrath is working with nine other scientists. You know, to be able to, you know, take pictures and make measurements and decide which will be really good samples off return, collect them, um, store them, um, and then the Fetch rover can return them to, um, to Earth. The rover will take off in July and land on the red planet's Jezero crater in February 2021. It'll look for life in what's left of an ancient Martian lake. On Earth, lakes are filled with living creatures. Evidence of that life is often preserved in the mud and sand deposited on the bottom of the lake. Scientists across the globe will be able to study what they bring back. Dr. Hausrath says she's honored to be among other women in science, making giant leaps for womankind. Unfortunately, you know, um, women are still, you know, relatively less represented in science, but I'm, I'm hoping that it's, you know, changing where, you know, women and other underrepresented groups can, you know, participate fully. It's not easy but it's worth it. Uh, worthwhile things take, you know, a lot of hard work and persistence. Yeah, the exact return date is still up for debate, but we do know that that rover is expected to collect samples and data for about one year on Mars. That's just shy of two years here for us on Earth. Reporting live from UNLV, Cassie Mulnerick, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.